You want to know why Bernie got out of the race? This is why Bernie got out of the race. The same reason Yang got out of the race. They couldn't out-socialism what's going on right now, not by far. The amount of money coming from government just being handed over to people now is going to be epic. And the scams, guys, there are going to be so many scams. I've already been able to just think of one right now about how the restaurants and the restaurant owners are going to start to work with people who want to work under the table. You see, this is one of the dirty, nasty secrets about capitalism, is that it requires a whole giant um, house of cards to be stacked up in just a certain right way for it to work. And boy, if there are any hiccups or any problems, it collapses. It absolutely collapses. And the only way you get people back into that mind frame again is by dumping a whole bunch of greenbacks on them to make them forget about um, social distancing which is really just a form of government-instituted social responsibility. I'm not for it. I think it's antithetical to everything that's been taught in the Bible. But watching how people are going to react once they start getting their checks, that's going to be the real indicator. Because there's going to be a group of people who aren't going to want to go back to work. They weren't making that much to begin with, and they had a crappy job, but it was the only job they could get. Now they're going to get a free check to sit home for a good long time. Now, some of them are going to be lazy and just sit there and do nothing, but some are going to be industrious, meaning, okay, I got bills paid now. Now I can go experiment. Now I can go see if I can um, run some scams under the table to bring in some even more cash. And this is what you're going to start to see. Because there's another group of people, the restaurant owners. You see, now they're going to get what they call a loan that's going to turn into a grant. Meaning, it's going to be a loan, and you have to pay it back if you lay off your employees. But if you keep your employees, and that money is going basically right through your hands and you're using it to fill a payroll, then it'll become a grant, and you don't have to pay it back to us. So they're going to create ghost employees and just dare the IRS to chase them down and prove it. Because they can do the math. The dirty little secret about the IRS is this. They don't look into anybody who's claiming under fifty grand a year in income because it doesn't pay them to. The people they have to pay to do the investigations, well, it'll be a net lose. I mean, you have to be making somewhere up around a hundred grand a year and cheating or, you know, manipulating the system for them to even begin to think about it. And now, with the current situation, the IRS is going to have absolutely no motivation whatsoever to start going after or trying to go after people who they suspect of evading taxes or manipulating the system because it's going to be a, a lose for the administration. Media gets a hold of a story like that during the, in the current climate. There's no way the IRS wins that. So they're going to be told hands off. So it's going to be free day recess. And the biggest group of winners are going to be those who are here basically illegally and off the books. This is the biggest gift because they're going to be able to come in and be, quote-unquote, employees, ghost employees, and they will be fine working for tips or even being paid out of the till at the end of the night. Because what do these waitresses make, Two thirteen an hour? So you bring a couple of pretty girls in, maybe half a dozen. You're paying them out of the till. They're working for tips. 
your actual trained staff, no real problem. They're sitting at home, they're collecting a check, and you're getting, and you're pretending they're on the payroll. And meanwhile, you're still earning revenue. It's a, it's a wonderful scam. It's going to work flawlessly across this country. And there are going to be some that, you know, raise hell about it. But once again, what are they going to do? These restaurants and places where people go to eat, they're going to have new standards. They're going to be able to seat so many fewer people because of the, they're still going to keep social distancing, regardless of whether the government says, okay, all clear, everybody can go about their daily lives. These restaurants are still going to put fewer tables in the dining room to keep people distanced. That means less people. What are they going to try to do? They're going to try to move people along faster. Meaning get in, get out. And they're going to try to keep payroll down to to nothing. To literally zero. If they can. Because once again, they're getting a check from the government one way or the other. And this is actually going to cost... American jobs, North American jobs, Latin Americans are going to get all sorts of jobs because they're willing to, like I said, they're willing to work out of the till and work for tips. And the people that own the restaurants, not going to have a problem with it anymore. Why? Because they're getting a check from the government. And they're going to be getting a check from the government for a long time. Yay, socialism. No, no, a lot of you are like, that's, that's not right. Well, that's just what happens. That's just the reality of how this is going to play out. Because nobody, the waiters and waitresses that have been laid off, don't, they're going to be getting a check, right? The stimulus check, and they're going to be getting the unemployment. They don't want anybody messing with that. They don't want to raise any kind of hell about anything. So they don't necessarily want their job back right away. But the problem is, is when they don't take their job back right away and these uh, folks working under the table, working quote unquote out of the till, meaning at night, the manager goes and he pulls money out of the revenue and pays people instead of cutting them a check. Once that starts, once that dynamic starts to work, that's never going to change again. And nobody is going to have any um, desire, any skin in the game to go report that to the government or raise hell about it. Because of all of the free money floating around. They're already talking about package number three, package number four, package number five. Experience is a plus, but will train the right individuals is the key phrase down here. All you've got to do is generally go out there and look really good and keep people coming in and keep them from basically loitering and moving them through. And the girls that are going to be good, and I know I'm saying, I'm sure there are guys out there too that wait tables, but let's be real for a minute. You know, let's, at least here in Florida, all of the places up and down the coast, you know, people come down here and guys come down here to spend their money and they have a certain expectation. And I'll just leave it there of what's going to keep them coming back. And like I said, there are going to be some industrious individuals that learn how to keep the government money coming while they're also engaging in their own little private capitalism. Everybody loves capitalism when the government isn't involved. If you got to keep everything, you go out there and you know, you've got a certain amount of cost involved and doing whatever it is that you do. And then you get to keep whatever margin. Oh, yeah, everybody's for that. It's when you've got to take out of your margin and, you know, pay taxes and 
be a good citizen. That whole part of socialism, people hate that. Especially the hairdressers. That's going to be another one. Wait until they start working out of their homes. There's guys out there dying for a haircut right now. Trying to find anybody anywhere that'll give them a haircut because you can't you can't go get a haircut. Haven't been able to get one for what, a month? And when these girls start, and they're mostly girls, I don't mean to sound sexist, but they are, they're mostly girls, start realizing the fat check that they can get from the government for being out of work and, and, how much money they can make on the side. Man, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. People are going to have this uh, weird schism happening in their head. I really have thought that I don't like socialism, but boy, I tell you what, this all these checks coming from the government, they will make you change your mind real quick. And the Democrats, that I think they're going to be in therapy for a long time, I'll be very honest. They're, they're not even going to be able to, to reconcile on this. But, once again, like I said, the current guy in charge was a card-carrying member of the Democratic Party for a long time. Long time. So, I'll leave there. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.